In looking at Tuesday, I've been hearing kind of two theories. One, that somebody just has to present a viable, positive message to Tony because he's leading every poll that I've seen, he's been leading. And I've been told private polling has him up as well. But it's partly because of name ID. And if you've just presented a positive you know, message on TV and radio, you could peel people off of him. The second one was you needed somebody, preferably not yourself, to tear him down while you're being built up. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anybody tearing Tony Evers down on TV or radio. Now, right. I have seen Matt Flynn with his comments in uh, some of the debates, mm -hmm. but there's been no negative on Tony Evers. Why do you think that is? I think probably because people have to sort of concede the potential inevitability that he's the nominee and you don't want to tarnish him uh, needlessly at this point. Those undecideds are, of course, the question. Um, and are people looking at this and thinking, I like somebody else better, I'm more excited about someone else, I'm gonna throw my support to them in the primary when I have the opportunity to do that, or are they seeing those polls and having that um, that thought reinforced that this is not only the candidate with the most name recognition to win the primary, but that will give him a boost heading into the general. Rewind, your week in review is sponsored by the Transportation Development Association of Wisconsin. Sharing one goal, enhancing the quality of life in Wisconsin through the development and maintenance of a strong transportation network. The Transportation Development Association of Wisconsin, it's how we get there.